No longer unknown, Russell Basisto, an Australian soldier of the Great War, finally laid to rest in a named grave in northern France. Today's diggers, members of the battalion in which he served, buried him with full military honours. Just 22 years old when he died, Russell Basisto was the only son of a South Australian family. When he went to war, he wrote postcards every week to each of his five sisters. Two of the descendants of those women, Russell Basisto's nieces, came from Australia for his burial. Rest in peace, Russell. Also at his graveside, one of the last surviving veterans of the Great War, Howard Pope, who also served in the 27th Battalion. Basisto survived Gallipoli. It was the muddy battlefields of the Somme in France that claimed his life. He was listed as missing during the fighting around a windmill at Pozières, a place which is now a memorial. In 1916, when Private Basisto was killed, this landscape was a wasteland of shell holes and trenches. His chances of survival were slim. In the six weeks of fighting around Pozières, there were 23,000 Australian casualties. A local farmer found Private Basisto's remains while ploughing here last January. Basisto's body and his kit were surprisingly intact. Les boucles, les boucles de, du bardin, là, de la sac au dos, tout ça. He realised the body was Australian from the buckles on his pack. Everything was there. They even found his razor. In this former frontline village, the local mayor regularly helps farmers who find unexploded shells and human bones. They're very much aware here of the extent of Australian sacrifice on French soil. Katie Cronin, ABC News, Pozières.